Welcome to my lab. I'm Drew Collip. In today's lab, we're going to look at setting up a biosafety cabinet. This is also known as a vertical laminar flow hood. This needs to be sterilized and we need to turn on the blowers for it to effectively work. Let me show you all the steps and how to set it up. The first thing we need to do is open the sash. If you look at the left side, there's a little dot that says sash height. We raise it up to that height right there. The light will come on. On the right side, we have a button that says blower. We press that, a little symbol says please wait on the screen. This tells us the blower is starting up and not to start any activities until that symbol is gone. We'll use the tall stool to put our items on and we'll sit on the short stool. We'll grab our ethanol and our paper towels to sterilize the hood. But we must wait until the please wait symbol is gone. We'll grab a plastic bag for all of our paper waste and we'll tape that to the side of the hood while we're waiting. We're just going to use masking tape. And when I tape this, I want it to remain open so I can drop items inside without touching the bag. I'm going to peel a strip of tape off and tape it to the side of the hood. Please watch the way I do it. I'm going to tape it to the left side because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you would tape it to the right side. I will tape it as far as I can to the edge and use two pieces of tape to hold it up against the hood in case it gets heavy so it doesn't fall down. Now for the bag to stay open, I will take a third piece of tape. I will fold over the bag right here and tape it like that. Now the bag can remain open and I can drop items in from up top without my hand touching the bag. I now need a bucket. The bucket is used to put a little bit of soap and a little bit of bleach to decontaminate items. A squirt of soap, a dash of bleach, and about two inches of water in the bucket. You don't want to add too much water because as you drop items in, it may splash. From outside the lab, we'll need a tube of sterile pasture pipettes, and we'll need a 250 mil beaker. We'll go back to our laminar flow hood room now. If we look at the symbol there, the please wait symbol is gone, so now I can sterilize my hood. I'll rip off some paper towel, get my 70% ethanol, and spray the entire plate at the bottom. I will then wipe from the back of the hood to the front of the hood, moving back and forth, pulling contaminants out of the hood. I can then place this into my garbage bag. Now every item that goes inside must be sprayed down with ethanol to sterilize it. So we'll spray it, we'll gently place it inside. Please note, don't spray your items on the main walkway. It'll make the floor very slippery with ethanol and can cause an accident. We'll grab a pipette rack. Make sure you spray the pipette racks separately. Do not have items inside. We're going to spray the outside and the inside and place it into the hood. We'll get our pipette controller from the charging docks, give it a shake to make sure it's not contaminated, and make sure the settings are correct. It should be set to blowout, and it must be sprayed down with ethanol as well. Let's get some serological pipettes now. I'll grab a handful of tens and a handful of fives. I'm not counting them. If I take too many, I can put them back. If I don't take enough, I can always go back for more. We'll spray those down with ethanol and gently toss them into the hood. Our solutions are kept in the fridge. We'll need some trypsin. It's in a 50 mil conical tube. This was prepared in an earlier lab in PBS and EDTA, and then filter sterilized. We'll need some other items, some PBS and some MEM. 
Notice this MEM is not finalized yet. This is just for demonstration purposes right now. When you spray the glass bottle, it can be very slippery. Make sure you don't drop it by holding it with an eagle claw talon grip on the cap. It'd be a shame to have to make a whole new bottle of MEM because it slipped out of your hand. Spray down our hands before we go inside and we'll organize the hood. I like my solutions on the left and my pipettes on the right. If you're left-handed, I would advise you to do the mirror image of what I'm doing right now. I would mix my solutions first and loosen my caps so they can be easily opened with a single hand. If I was subculturing, I would use PBS first, then trypsin, then MEM. So I'll place them in that order to help ensure I use the right chemical at the right time. I'm missing something. What am I missing? I have pasture pipettes, but no bulb. Always double check to make sure you have all your items before you get started. Then organize it. One thing you might also want to add to this is a test tube to save the extra cells after your subculture. Once everything is set up and organized, you're good to go with whatever you need to do. Remember to maintain sterility throughout. We'll see you in the lab.